Hi, I'm Andre. Hi, I'm Star. And welcome to another episode of Exploring the Video Synthesis Ecosphere Raspberry Pi. We also have Talia is with us today. Yeah, Talia, come say, come say hi. hi. Yay! <laughs> 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 and, you know, this is just a day in the life for us <laughs> um, at, at, at Base Space. <laughs> Important part of the process here. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so what are we going to talk about today? Um, so today we're going to um, be looking at artificial life and we will be talking about, you know, that sort of automation um, recording going on that can have a sort of looping effect if you find something that you really enjoy um, on the Nano. Yeah, so artificial life is going to be, it's, it's, it's confusing. Like, <laughs> I, you know... I did what I could. I was trying to put a lot of things in here, but it, it ended up being like one of those things where you're like, when you're like a little kid and you go to like the soda pop place and you can buy, you just buy the cup and then you're like, oh, I'm going to mix everything in there. And you're just kind of like, sometimes it works out really well and sometimes you're like Dr. Pepper, Slice, root beer all mixed together and you're like, what the fuck is this? But maybe like after you drink it a couple of times, you're like, this is the best thing ever. So, um, I mean, yeah. honestly, I enjoy it. I mean, it's sort of, it's a powerhouse. Honestly, I was sleeping on artificial life for so long and now I'm like, wow, okay. It's just, there's just so much you can do with it. Yeah, it's a weird one, but it's it's got a lot in there, and it's you know there's there's gonna be a bit of a like a hump to get over like when you first learn it, but once you do, you'll be like, oh shit, like, right? This is something else, right? Uh, but yeah, the confusing thing about motion recording in this is that so this is all video oscillators, so it's gonna be moving all the time. Like, let me just reset this. This is how it looks when you just first boot it up, and now just like start moving things. Then start to. Yeah. Move some things around, make some bendy things there. Uh, 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 uh. But yeah, we're going to have just constant motion. So uh, 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 before, uh, I, I recommend that you, you get used to sort of what's going on without motion recording before going into motion recording, because if you don't know the controls to begin with, you're never really going to be able to like separate like what's just oscillating, oscillating, and what right. is me oscillating things. Right. And there's like two other videos I made to like go over that. So definitely check out the video manuals. They work a lot better than the the, the text manuals. Mm -hmm. But we're just going to jump into motion recording here. So mm -hmm. uh, 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 here we go. Yeah. So you know, on the Nano, you can just hit this record button here. And it will start to. You'll you'll know that it's activated because it kind of does like this fucked up thing where it changes your parameters. And right. That's, that's my bad. <laughs> well, I'm I'm figuring it out. <laughs> and it'll just keep going. You see all the things that I did. It kind of recorded what I did, and now it's gonna keep looping it back, which I didn't know. Um, up until probably <laughs> uh, five minutes ago <laughs> because I was just pressing, I was kind of button mashing my way through artificial life because it's such a powerhouse. Um, and I was like, oh yeah, ooh, and then I was pressing things, I was moving things, I'm like, yeah, let's add that. I was like, let's add some color in here, you know, just get some, and then I was like, oh, I just did all of that and it just, keep, it just kept going. And then I was like, I want to know how I just did that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so motion recording works. If you've ever played with like a Korg Volca, if you've ever played with like electron synthesizers, mm -hmm. you'll be familiar with kind of the basic concept of motion recording in that, like for, for those instruments, it's like, you know, it's, it's, it's synced to their own BPM, whatever drum BPM you're running on. Right. And then you just sort of like move the little knobs and within that frame, it'll save everything it does. Mm. Um, so that was sort of where I was like, oh, I gotta, like, add this in here. Um, because we don't really have BPM in the video world, like, not really speaking in that way, we're kind of, it's kind of locked to the frame rate. Like, mm. everything's locked to the frame rate right now, which is 35 frames per second if you're doing analog or, uh, analog NTSC or digital anywhere, and then, uh, 25 frames per second for all the PAL folks out there in CCAM. Okay. Um, so those are kind of like the, the, the beat locking things right there. And it's going to be about, it's going to be an eight second loop for NTSC folks and okay. a little bit longer for PAL folks because of the slower frame rate. Um, but yeah, so if you want to like, if you just sort of like count to yourself, like 
around like 120 BPM, like one, two, I was and wondering it'll, that. And then, it'll, it. and then it'll <laughs> shift. Okay, that makes sense because I was interested in figuring out what the timing was and what all it's capturing and when. So if I were to move something right now or change a parameter, would it start from there and then do another eight? It'll loop. So so it'll it'll sort of continuously control and it won't really lock it into the buffer until you're done. Mm. So if I just keep doing this... Like, uh, let's see, let's do something that really changes things. So if I do this, and I do it for like 16 seconds, only the last 8 seconds get re gets reported. Okay. And then there's one other really interesting uh, quirk about this is that um, the motions only get recorded when you move the next parameter. And what I mean by that is like, so I'm doing all this, and this isn't necessarily going to get saved unless immediately after I do this, I'm just like, doop hit this little thing like oh. real quick and that was just kind of I didn't have a button to spare for like lock record or not so I just kind of had to make it be like just keep moving around and keep playing things and like you'll get the feel of it <laughs> okay that I mean that makes that makes sense because I was I was like oh maybe I can do this or that but I didn't know what would trigger it in and out and so to have that little knob and do something cool and add some more stuff in and then it changes afterwards that makes that makes a lot of sense yeah and then we can get into some neon zones nice some classic pinks and greens yeah i mean one of the things that i really love about artificial life aside from i feel like it kind of has this all of the oscillators and it feels like it's like a, its own feedback loop happening in it is the colors you know i really love the, the colors that we're able to I feel like they're so beautiful. Yeah, it's RGB world. It's the, the only thing I make where you get to play around. Well, actually, no, Temporal Vortex is RGB stuff, too. Mm -hmm. This is this was the first one I made where I was like, okay, I'm stuck with RGB. Let's see what we can do with it. Um, and the different hues that you can get are really... Yeah, it's getting outside of the rainbow zones. Mm. <laughs> And then if you want to stop, um, we can just hit that button again and still check what happens. What happens when you hit that button one more time? Yeah, so it doesn't save things. It's very it's very much just like be in the moment, improvise what you can do, like keep it moving. Uh, but yeah, I guess it just... <laughs> yeah. I, you know, I have to relearn the things I do sometimes too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so if you, if you find that, that thing, that thing, you know, that it screen record or you know <laughs> hopefully you have some sort of you know if you have the capture bundle you can route it into your computer and capture those those cute little things and then and then you know once you're done you're it's, it's over you know you may not ever get back to that point and that's something that I also feel like <laughs> I have like a love-hate relationship with with all sorts with all video synthesis in general it's just like oh I did this thing and like I took a little clip of it but then I'm like wait I, I don't know how I just <laughs> I'm looking back at old videos I'm like where how can I get back to this and you can't all right there was something yeah. special about that moment <laughs> something pure uh, yeah I mean that's like kind of what I would didn't like like I, I I'm, I'm doing some like psychological shit with this design too where some of it is just like I can't do anything else because of like uh, 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 because of how the hardware works mm. some of it is also I want to encourage people to perform in a certain way mm. you notice like I don't have anything where you can plug in a USB and like play samples off of it that's right. kind of on purpose like I want people to think about live how do you make things happen in a live setting with a live live signal flow and part of that is also how do you like orchestrate things live how mm. do you like like learn how to like perform with something as opposed to just like doing a straight up like uh, ableton set where everything's just like automated right because there's so much you can do with automation mm -hmm. like i don't need to make more things for y'all to automate uh, what I want to do is create a world where it's like a system you can explore. Mm. <laughs> and I think we are we are getting that in, in, in artificial life, that's for sure. <laughs> but yeah, do you have any other questions about this this particular one? 
I mean, yeah. we'll be coming back for more later. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm definitely going to play around some more. That was one that stuck out to me, and I'm so happy that I can remember this now and just <laughs> be able to be like, oh, I know what I'm doing with this. I want to loop this moment. Boom. Um, so I, I'm feeling really satisfied with that because I feel like that unlocks so much, um, you know, so much, so much you can play with just by having that feature and knowing how to get in and out of it. So I'm feeling really good. Awesome. Well, I guess that wraps up for today. Um, let us know in the comments if you got any shit you want us to talk about in the future. And as always, have fun. Yeah, peace. <laughs>